Hi. In this episode, I will devote myself to draw a picture of what I call as the Kaitavulagam Saga 2. Here, today, or in this episode, I am addressing Damodaran Nair, who is the lone nephew of my dad, V. N. Parameswaran Pillai, and my uncle, elder to my dad, Sri V. N. Narayana Pillai. I have uh, quite a bit deep memory of Mr. Damodaran Nair. Being my dad's nephew in the vernacular, I used to call him Machan, or rather cousin, equivalent of cousin in Malayalam. Malayalam that is spoken in Kanyakumari district. district. So, what is Machan like? Machan is a well-built, stocky man of maybe five, uh, in five foot, two inches tall, or three inches tall at the best. And he had a, when I saw him, as a young kid, he is probably, he was in the late teens or early second decade. And what I remember him about him is, one, his body. He's a very dark complexioned man. Most of the head, scalp is, you know, he had early bald, baldness, but to compensate for that, he had a body covered with black hair. Number two, he did not do any kind of exercise, so to speak, but he had a muscled body, no doubt. I'm not sure what he did to earn an income but what I, he had an income because he had land, property, as well as paddy fields. In other words, the family, that whatever that owned under the edges of Kaitavulagam family, that was partitioned into four members and uh, one part went to my uncle, second part to my dad, third part to my, my who I call as Maman, uncle, who is, on, who is actually the cousin of my dad. And the fourth portion went to Damodaran Machan. <laughs> So, he used to cultivate, work hard in the field and raise crops, you know, dry crops on the land as well as uh, irrigated crops, mainly paddy in the paddy fields. And uh, he was actually, shall I say, he was uh, eating, or uh, his kitchen is same as that of my uncle, Palyachal's. And Valyamma considered Damodaran Machan as a son. Very truly speaking, Valyamma had a great affection to this Machan or Damodaran Nair. And uh, Damodaran Nair, another thing I remember about him is, in the evenings 
ഇഫ് ഹി ഡസൻ വെയർ എ ഷർട്ട് ആൻഡ് വെയർസ് ഓൺലി എ ബ്രൈറ്റ് വൈറ്റ് ധോത്തി ഹി വിൽ നോട്ട് ഗോ എവേ ഫ്രം ദ പെരിമീറ്റർ ഓർ ദി നേബർഹുഡ് ഓഫ് ദി ഹൗസ് ഹി വിൽ ബി വാക്കിംഗ് അറൗണ്ട് ആർ യു നോ മീറ്റിംഗ് ഹിസ് ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ആൻഡ് യു നോ ജോക്കിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ചാറ്റിംഗ് ഇഫ് ഹി ഓൺ ദി അതർ ഹാൻഡ് വെയർസ് എ ഷർട്ട് ഹി വിൽ ഗോ ടു ദി nearest uh, town let me say call it town katadura there of course uh, what he does what he doesn't do i don't know for one thing i am very sure that this man never drank alcohol even though alcohol was uh, not a rare commodity those days in any part of kanyakumari district or in any any part of india for that matter because uh, the craft craft arak or craft liquor is common everywhere well i mean by craft liquor you know something that is created that is uh, made you know locally by some person or persons and then it is uh, delivered to those people who are in need of it so it is actually good. this is called a craft in the sense it is not a, uh, made on an industrial scale in a distillery etc etc so in spite of the fact that it is freely available i could not uh, get any trace of him you know getting used to or having a drink of or two of alcohol well of course you know i was a very <laughs> very small kid in the sense the my early days in the primary school then how would i look for or understand or su- survive the the behavior of my mother well i know some people are like that that you can i have to admit that i was a was kind of a different type of person so anyway then what he does he will go for uh, during the onam days he is in charge of creating what is called the unyal a swing and uh, he will uh, take the initiative to make uh, what is called uh, the 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 home made what uh, rope that is actually very basic basic thing what is done is uh, you know coconut leaves and the front are uh, harvested and uh, using those what you call as a irkil with the uh, ela of the coconut leaf that is actually a little bit uh, warmed up in the sun then it is actually seasoned in a fire in the flame and finally all this uh, uh, coconut leaf uh, fronts or uh, what you call as the irkil with the leaf that is actually carefully harvested from the what is called the mid rib the mudal and uh, you know using this like uh, a uh, fiber equivalent of fiber and also what is called uh, you know we have a, in kanyamari district we had a lot of palmera trees palmera palms and uh, the back side of the palmera leaf or the um, what do we call as madal now unlike uh, the you know thing also coconut also has a madal portion without any green leaf or front and similarly when it is a palmera palm leaf this model is a quite long in the in other words it will be 4 feet 3 feet long and the external cover ex- exterior of this model that is actually a very strong fibrous material that in other words a mixture of coconut leaf plus this model palmera palm model derived the fibrous part 
are combined mixed are yeah rather it is made into a jointly combinedly woven into a very strong rope and then of course naturally every family will have a certain tree of course we had a mango tree which had a suitable or appropriately um, <laughs> appropriately designed or quote unquote designed branch and from there this will be tied down and of course then you know we will have to sit on uh, some kind of a plank and uh, which is tied uh, to the two of these uh, ropes that is a green rope uh, shall i say green rope in other words we don't buy any kind of plastic rope those days plastic was not around anyway and this green rope had a uh, will be tied uh, to, to to enable people to sit and uh, use the swing swing what is called walaka that is the something very common in uh, in the older days in the ancient days in almost uh, all homes where they had some kind of a paddy cultivation program as part of their uh, food uh, source and this walaka is actually simply a rod rod made of wood with of course uh, the wood wood is like what is the type of wood there is a tree called the puli in other words we use the, the puli from from that puli maram as a condiment or to add some kind of puli ruchi <laughs> sour taste to the whatever that is cooked so this uh, puli okay core of the puli tree actually serves as the source material for making this kind of sticks well I, though i use the word stick it is not stick it is larger than a stick and uh, women would need at least uh, one of the hands you know the four or five uh, uh, diameter will be very easily for in- three three inches minimum and with this they will go on pounding whatever grain not to de husk so this uh, pull this this is this ulaka ulaka in the sense a rod this uh, ulaka puli puli ulaka and that is what is serving as the seat in other words it will uh, easily hold the four three or four grown up people which is such a strong piece of uh, timber and once that is done then we start uh, playing with it in other words swinging it you know sit on it then uh, somebody will push as forward or backward or whatever and some definitely we will fall off <laughs> the swing and uh, for that day before ronam on that particular day the, our game is over play uh, playful time is over and of course we you know once we fall we don't really get hurt very badly some abrasions will be there but still the next day we are again ready for <laughs> another bout to enjoy the swing and uh, doing the swinging so that is actually matan's uh, outlook he is he polishes now he regulates whoever is coming and uh, play with this and one of the things he will do is he will just uh, remove the walaka the seat the rod on which we sit and keep it safe in his custody so that uh, you know the ropes green rope homemade rope handcrafted rope that serves us serves the family and uh, during the end of ronam vacation and of course finally what will happen is the rope itself will break at some point now after a week or so you know because once it is up uh, there is no way that we can uh, water it or uh, you know keep it uh, moist and once this uh, leaf and uh, the whatever that went in through it uh, gets dry naturally it becomes brittle and, and there is of course no joint it's a wonderful thing you know, like just like very much uh, like making uh, you know from kair fiber making a kair rope that's all only difference is it is not excellent exceedingly fine 
it is uh, not a long time serving material once the onam season 6 or 7 days uh, it concludes the rope the so called the green rope will also become brown rope and uh, finally fall off you don't have to go up and uh, then untie it well that if you can do that that's well and good but only thing is next year we cannot find uh, any use for this because it will be so brittle and uh, that that way it will not be of any use actually confidently to, to be used uh, as a for a swing for tying the uh, creating a swing so that is one of the things uh, uh, damodar and nayar and uh, damodar and machan did uh, for the kids and the ladies of course our ladies and my mother and uh, my chechi whoever they go over to this uh, swing in the, the area where the swing, uh, tree side where the swing is uh, ready and uh, they will spend uh, maybe an hour or half you know sitting there and uh, doing a, a slow <laughs> slow motion swing and uh, you know that that obviously you know once they are done with the work days work most of the work you know <laughs> the work will never end until the men folk uh, go to bed so that is what machan did another thing he did was well <laughs> he does the police work in the sense that uh, he will go around uh, the property the the entire property maybe from one end uh, to the other end of the homestead property will be little more than one for long yeah that is it and uh, he, he will be having uh, his is what is called a uh, side scan <laughs> view of uh, those people who come in and prowl around and uh, <laughs> if possible what they take is not uh, anything worthwhile except uh, that what they do is they take uh, some dry stuff dry fallen pieces of branches of trees and whatever from any 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 coconut palm or any any of the palmera palm palmera palm has another role well of course you know what machan does he will shout at this person irrespective of the gender and uh, they, they will be scared to their <laughs> to their death and <laughs> they will be they will drop this drop whatever they picked up and then <laughs> hide away or run away and of course that's all he does you know nothing else then another thing uh, machan uh, did was you know don't see got a, a sort of uh, close to 25 or plus 25 he the, the his own uncles my dad and uh, my my own uncle valyachan they decided uh, that uh, this man should get married of course uh, you know obviously and uh, then uh, they looked up in fact uh, valyachan took the initiative because achan was a sort of passive sort of passive in the sense achan was very much devoted to the school work he was the headmaster in a neighborhood school primary school of course and achan was uh, devoted to that plus uh, damodar and machan was kind of a member like family member like because valiyamma was uh, looking after his uh, him very well and uh, finally a decision was made to to get him married and uh, the girl uh, hailed from <laughs> what is called what i earlier said as karipuram that is where is karipuram where is kanyamuram where is vaagavulla all these places are the uh, are the land area or the swamp like area i would say swamp like area at the confluence of kulthra or with uh, the lakshadweep sea so during uh, the monsoon season well of course unless you are very able at, in uh, swimming you, you and uh, <laughs> confident about your skills you won't be able to go across the river to the abode or to the home you wanted to visit in karipuram 
so from there of course one uh, young girl was uh, identified she happens to be closely related to valyachan in other words the valyachan's wife valyamma comes from a very large family and uh, this uh, damodar mathan's wife is actually a close relative her mother is a very very closely related person to valyamma and finally to the i think uh, i'm not very sure but uh, 99% i'm sure to dr m n tambi m n tambi is actually narayana tambi so who is this narayana tambi narayana tambi is actually the, the 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 my own eldest brother p v dasus father in law and uh, that is a relation in other words one damodaran math or narayana pulla in other words valyachan married got married to tambis sister and then machan damodaran nair got married to a girl who who also was a sister of narayana tambi whose mother was a sister of narayana tambi so large family several women and two or three men in that family so once uh, matan got married then uh, that marriage uh, i also attended i distinctly remember matan uh, started living uh, well in that summer uh, my family my brothers amma and achan we moved over to tiruvananthapuram kavadiyar and uh, the home where we used to stay was handed over to matan and his bride new bride that is the thai bid the core home in the kaidavlagam uh, homestead so matan started living there comfortably and matan had only one issue one girl issue in the sense one child and that girl is now close to 50 or around 50 years of age she was given in marriage to one ayyappan ayyappan retired from the police service tamil nadu state matan of course uh, you know he also lived through his 60s and then had a death so that is what damodar nair's story is like and uh, this in this uh, episode i focused on the damodar nair my matan that is uh, the nephew of mr my late my, my dad parameshwaran pilla and brother his own brother nilakanta pilla sorry narayana pilla nilakanta pilla is our uh, appuvan anyway so, so that is how damodar nair and uh, his family began and finally called it a day thank you